Thank mm-hmm. you.
separate categories, or at least they used to be. They have separate origins. 
free jazz pretty much uh, originated in the United States, especially centered in New York City in the 60s. And free improvisation is pretty much of a British, uh, of, of British origin also in the 60s. And um, so I traced a little bit of their development, but this is not a book about, uh, this is not like a book uh, written, it's not really written for consumers of music who are looking for uh, uh, how, to, how to understand, how to get into the music. Maybe, maybe it will help a little bit. This is, this is a book that I've sold mainly to uh, other musicians who are playing this kind of music. And it might be of interest to uh, non-musicians as well, because it tells the story of uh, how um, uh, of the uh, the transformation really of what it means to be a musician today. In the '60s, when these musics were created, um, music was a profession. It was something that you you had to be a member of the union in order to play in most establishments, and you earned a living. You expected to earn a living. And you were pretty disappointed if you had to do something else to make money. Uh, today, the vast, vast majority of musicians are not earning a living from playing this music. Um, there are only a few who are, you would say, are professionals in that traditional sense. Most, most are uh, teaching or earning their basic income elsewhere from performing. And uh, there are a lot of reasons for that. Uh, the decline of uh, clubs that are open to this kind of music, the decline of live audience. People don't seem to, well, they, people come out here in uh, Columbia, but uh, most, most cities, uh, that's, not, that's not the case. Anyway, it discusses uh, this, this evolution to the present, and especially the, the goes into the story of which uh, I am a part of the uh, the origins of free improvisation in this country, uh, how it uh, evolved really all over the country and um, was uh, not, not considered a music in the, in the 80s, it was very difficult to find uh, other musicians to play uh, improvised, um, and it was very difficult to book any concerts. So um, uh, people toured. Uh, like this, I began touring around, going coast to coast, playing this kind of music before audiences that had no idea what what it was. And sometimes they just, "What is this?" It would be their response. What do you call this? You know, it would be uh, not that easy to explain. Anyway, uh, the situation is different. It's possible to tour, but still, for a mostly uh, small audience DIY uh, events. Uh, so the, uh, the book uh, comes with a CD, and it's $15, so I won't uh, break anybody's budget. And I have um, copies over here, as well as CDs. Ron has a, a solo CD here, so uh, you might uh, check them out in the meantime. Yeah, cool. Good to see you all here. Yeah. Thanks.